military weapons. When your neighbors are Kim Jong-un level crazy, you better make sure your defenses are bigger and badder than anything that they can throw at you. Or at least just as crazy. Like the K2 Black Panther's parachute munitions. This 55-ton main battle tank is the latest to join South Korea's ground forces and is widely hailed as one of the most advanced and expensive main battle tanks ever produced. Produced by Korean automotive mega corporation, the Hyundai Rotom Company. This design became production ready in 2006 following 11 years in development and a research budget expenditure of approximately 230 million United States dollars. It is planned that the K2 would feature a domestically designed power pack based upon the German designed MTU 890, comprised of a Dusen Infracore Corporation 1500 horsepower 12 cylinder diesel engine and an ST Dynamics transmission. Within its weapon systems, the main armament of the Black Panther is armed with a 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, indigenously developed by Hyundai Waya. This is complemented by an autoloader, similar to that designed for the Leclerc tank, and it can fire up to 12 rounds a minute. The ammunition for the main gun is loaded in a 16-shell magazine. The tank has a total ammunition capacity of 40 rounds for its main armament. Within its secondary weapons are a 12.7mm K6 heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The K2 is equipped with an advanced fire control system linked to an extremely high frequency radar system deployed on the frontal arc of the turret, along with a traditional laser range finder and crosswind sensor. The system is capable of a lock-on mode, which can acquire and track specific targets up to a range of 9.8 kilometers using a thermographic camera. This allows the crew to fire accurately while moving, as well as engage low-flying aircraft. Of its defensive capabilities, details of the composite armor of the Black Panther are classified, but the frontal armor has been proven to be effective at defeating the 120mm round fired from the L-55 gun. Explosive reactive armor blocks are also present, with the addition of non-explosive reactive armor planned for the K2 PIP version. The millimeter band radar system mounted on the turret is capable of operating as a missile approach warning system, and the vehicle's computer in turn can triangulate incoming projectiles, immediately warn the vehicle crew, and fire off visual and infrared screening smoke grenades, which can effectively block optical, infrared, and radar signatures. Mobility and maneuverability of the K2 sees that it can travel at speeds up to 70 km per hour on road surfaces and accelerate from 0 to 32 km per hour within 8.7 seconds, maintaining speeds of 52 km per hour in off-road conditions as well. It can also climb 60 degree slopes and vertical obstacles of 1.8 meters in height. Due to the relatively compact design of the engine, the designers were able to fit an additional Samsung Techwind gas turbine engine into the remaining compartment space. The vehicle can cross rivers as deep as 4.1 meters using a snorkel system which also serves as a conning tower for tank commanders. The system takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes to prepare. For more information about this outstanding machine, view its characteristics in the description below. And while you're here, be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks for watching.